We talked about color wheels, the calibration panel and the new point color tool. So we covered almost everything you need to know about color grading in Adobe Lightroom. But there's one very important step you need to take before doing all of these deeper editing steps. And this is white balance. Before we jump into Lightroom, let's understand what white balance actually is. White balance is super important in photography because it basically sets the color temperature of light in your photos. When you take a photo, different light sources give off light with different color temperatures. By tweaking the white balance, you can get rid of any color tint that might be messing up your shot. This ensures that your photos look totally natural, full of life and true to what you actually saw. Most cameras do pretty good work in adjusting the white balance automatically just before your shooting. In some cases, it can be good to adjust it manually, especially when you're having a mixed color temperature of two light sources. For example, the sunlight coming from your window and another light source having a warmer color temperature. So it's always best to get the white balance right in your camera just before shooting. But of course, there are still ways to fix that in post. Here's how it works. Open Adobe Lightroom and import the photo you want to work on. Make sure you're in the develop module to access the white balance tools. The first thing you could do is to use one of Lightroom's presets like daylight, cloudy, tungsten, fluorescent and custom. Experiment with these presets to see if any of these suit your image. Choose the one that looks most natural or provides the mood you desire. If the presets don't quite do the trick, you can use the white balance selector tool. Click the eyedropper icon in the toolbar and then click on the natural area in your photo, like a white or gray surface. Lightroom will automatically adjust the white balance based on that selection. In some cases, it is easier to increase your exposure first in order to get more right areas. You can easily return that setting by double clicking on exposure. For more precise control, head to the temperature on tint sliders. Adjust the temperature slider to make your photo warmer or cooler. A tint slider allows you to correct the green or magenta tinting. Keep an eye on the image preview to ensure you achieve your desired look. Another great tool to use for this is your histogram right above the section. There you can see how the color spread over the white and black areas in your image. On the left side we have the black parts, midtones in the middle and whites on the right side. If blue, red and green are perfectly aligned on your right side, your white balance should be looking good. This can be very helpful for controlling how much you need to change the temperature and thin sliders. If there are specific areas in your photo that need white balance adjustment, you can use the mask to correct these specific parts in your image. Select the brush tool, choose the temp and tint option and then paint over the areas you want to modify. This provides targeted adjustments without affecting the entire image. Now you see these are very easy tricks to master your white balance while editing. You should remember to do this as the very first step in order to get your colors right before going deeper into color grading. It's specifically important for editing portraits because you don't want your model to have a too cold or too warm skin tone. I hope this tutorial could help you a little bit. If you liked this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you found this video useful. I will see you in the next one.